House of Cards. I came crashing on itself in only a few short weeks. People made into monsters by the twisted science of madmen who wanted to be gods. I guess when I was, you know, I was 14, I uh, started making, you know, handy cam videos just like every other kid. Take dummies, throw them off cliffs, you know, make stupid movies about, you know, kids running around with guns, that sort of thing. And um, I guess it just, it got more complicated. No, don't, don't, don't be eating that, any of you zombies. Don't put that in your mouth. Don't eat it. Well, you can put it in your mouth. Now it's sort of crossing over from the realm of hobby into career. Everybody loves movies. They're just, they're just the most fun form of art, I think. Uh, cinema, you know, watching, um, you know, Star Wars when I was a kid, of course, everybody watches Star Wars and they love it. And uh, I guess, you know, seeing that as a really little kid, I guess it sort of got me thinking, you know, this is magic, you know, I want to do this when I grow up sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, how much, how much of me is actually going to be filmed, though? Uh, mostly your waist right now. Well, I'd actually kind of like it to be shot up along you. Is, and, that, uh, is that possible, though? Well, yeah. Do that crazy laugh for that camera, dude. And, and they can sort of rip it out of your hands. We used to do movies about um, just people who were... Uh, trapped in, in their own minds, they're insane, and uh, movies, you know, a lot of gangster movies. I was obsessed with gangster movies, uh, you know, James Cagney, that sort of thing. Hello, Miss Piggy. What? All right, right away. Turn back. Yeah, it's busted out. Um, Expect No Resistance was about this gang of, of uh, straight-edge revolutionaries <laughs> who have a fight, this big shootout with the police. And um, shot a really good scene, I think, actually. One of the few that I'm not embarrassed to show people from early on, um, with SWAT teams invading their house and this big shootout. And, uh, and I guess later on, then we did uh, Strike Force, which was sort of a sci-fi, kung fu type movie with people shooting energy from their hands. So I started to get serious. Um, I guess in 1999, we did uh, an historical drama, uh, El Corazon de la Memoria, which was you know, uh, it centers on all these different historical periods. We did um, Winnipeg General Strike, Spanish Civil War, uh, an East German prison break in the 60s. And um, it, was, it was sort of fun, you know, bringing all that together with all the different costumes and trying to find all these locations that would work in Victoria. I guess, you know, the, um, like, areas that would look like Spain in the 30s or Winnipeg in the 20s or East Germany in the 60s. That was not too easy. Some of the, your favorite movies of all time? Um, Blade Runner. <laughs> I, I have to say, Dr. Butcher MD, the incredibly bad uh, European zombie movie, The Road Warrior, of course, uh, The Dollars Trilogy, Sergio Leone's, just about anything made by Akira Kurosawa, uh, The Hidden Fortress being a, a favorite, of course, uh, just about anything with uh, James Cagney, any of the old gangster films, The Roaring Twenties, uh, White Heat. <laughs> You know, actually, up until a few years ago, I really didn't like horror movies. I just thought they were trash, and I didn't want to go near them. But um, I've come to realize that, that they can be a very creative medium, and that you can express a lot of ideas you can't with a lot of other forms of movies. And I guess just um, there's a really big audience out there for, like, B-grade, you know, underground horror movies. People love this stuff. You know, they eat it up. Nobody wants to watch, you know, $2,000 drama. Um, people want to watch $2,000 zombie movies for some reason. Characters come running out and find your dead bodies, and suddenly... The Mexican wrestler saves everyone. Yeah! <laughs> Except that you're already dead, so it's just too late for you. <laughs> I'd like to think that, you know, you can make a movie that's artistic and serious and has something to say, but that is still uh, completely crazy and that, you know, anybody's going to want to watch and, and sort of enjoy on a visceral level. It's just got, like, the violence and the gore and the sex, but at the same time, maybe there's something underlying there, uh, some subtext, and, you know, people, people will want to watch it, but at the same time, I can sneak in my ideas and, you know, whatever. And uh, so, 
get a distribution deal, and at the same time make a movie that, I, you know, maybe considered art. Uh, like, Come on, move it inside. No, move, move, move. And you all like head inside, you go running. And then um, we're going to have one of you guys uh, come running back without masks, screaming and going totally crazy, going, gotta get out, gotta get out, ah! um, The impetus for um, going into it was my friend Nick, Nick Sheehan. He does uh, Nick OT in comics. And um, he got me into watching all these European zombie movies and stuff like that. And, uh, uh, watching the you know the George Romero's Dead trilogy, um, which were great, and um, he, he he it was sort of his idea to do the zombie movie. Him and this this other person, uh, Tanya Willard, and it was their idea to do a movie about uh, street kids being attacked by yuppie zombies. Um, and so I, we sort of took that and changed it around a bit and um, twisted it and turned it into this sort of grotesque monstrosity of this this ridiculous gore fest with lots of sex and violence and destruction and stuff like that. And uh, just ended up being uh, a whole lot of fun to shoot, a lot of work, and it was really stressful. But um, uh, in the end, I think it, it turned out quite nicely. <laughs> it's inspired me to actually go to school to do makeup artistry. So hopefully one day I'll be a monster maker. You're an amateur. You're not a professional. You're untrained. I am very untrained. A really good, uh, enthusiastic amateur. Oh, definitely. I know. I love it. I love it. I've, this because working with Brian and me, Mark did too. I found out what I want to do for the rest of my life, and that's. Make monsters. Ah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> so basically, these wounds, whatever wasn't used, these are like all from meat market. These are meat market issued wounds and gore and stuff, right? So what I use for the blood um, blister that didn't exactly work, but I've got uh, some ideas in order to make it better. But um, you know, more latex, fish and wire. Just in this, I'm just going to try to make this thing where it's a stick in the eye, so it's uh, the blood will shoot through here and then like stuck in the eye and then you just, the camera obviously won't see the tubing, it'll be tight and you just see blood shoot through here and it'll come out the eye kind of thing. So it'll be like an impalement, kind of like, uh, I want to work with him, he's great to work for and, and I like what he's doing, you know, horror, gore, blood, it's great. For Meat Market, in the first one, the story, I guess it, um, it didn't really have like sort of a solid linear narrative to it. Uh, it was very jokey in tone. It was, it was totally ridiculous and over the top. And um, for the second one, I guess it took a little bit more of a serious turn. Uh, still, still, of course, has the humor, but um, more apocalyptic. Tell me about promoting your own film. Yeah, I, I mean, I do much the same thing. I'll put the word out on the internet, like I said before. I'll try to get the word of mouth out about it. I'll. Um, I have a trailer that I, I uh, that is, you can download off the internet from my website. Uh, people can watch that and of course I go around to any store that is either uh, vaguely connected to it or you know I have friends in the, who, who work there, cast members who work there and put up a poster in the store um, and especially I'll just take the posters and uh, put them up everywhere around town for a month before the show either renting or buying the tapes I'll just take them around to various stores and say hey look do you want this low budget movie we shot in town it's 20 bucks awesome. I can't wait okay uh, so 20, just 20 even? Yeah. There you go, Thanks. sir. And do you want us to give you a receipt or anything? Or? Okay. Thanks a lot.